With Jan-Oki Jonsson, who is Managing Director of Saab Automobile. Jan-Oki, it's been more than eight weeks since General Motors and Koenigsegg Group signed a non-binding agreement over the sale of Saab Automobile. Now it's gone one step further? Well, I'm happy to report that uh, General Motors and the Koenigsegg Group have actually signed a share purchase agreement, which is a milestone, of course, in, the, in the, uh, developing the new ownership structure. And uh, whereas there are still some issues to resolve that will be resolved in the next few months, this is, of course, a very important step in order to secure a bright future for Saab. Now, crucially, does it mean that there's enough money on the table for a viable Saab for the future? Well, it is, of course, so that securing a new ownership structure together with uh, financial support from General Motors and the Swedish government uh, we have secured the future for Saab and the developments for Saab going forward. Well, this deal with Saab and General Motors is now going ahead, but why has it taken so long? Well, actually, from our perspective, we think we've moved quite fast. It was only about eight, nine weeks ago since we started getting into the process of looking at all the details of Saab. And now we have reached so far to sign an SPA, a share purchase agreement, which we're very proud of, happy of having reached this point. So. We have great plans for the future of Saab and we will do our utmost to build an exciting, strong uh, company and, and of course that's good for the Saab employees as well. But when people hear the name Koenigsegg they think of a small manufacturer of high performance supercars and it's a bit of a puzzle to understand how such a small company can take on Saab. How are you going to organise it? Yeah, of course. I, I, we get that question a, uh, a lot of times. And it's actually not Koenigsegg, the supercar manufacturer, who is buying Saab. It's a company called Koenigsegg Group, where I personally and uh, the supercar manufacturer is a part of. But we consist of a group of entrepreneurs, um, Swedish, Norwegian, American. Uh, of course, it's a Swedish company, but it's an international base behind. And, and uh, within that group, we have the, the strength and energy and know-how and will to get this job done. And will the conclusion of this deal really secure Saab's future and the jobs at Saab, which are very important? Well, the good thing with the business plan that we have now jointly also developed together with the Koenigsegg Group, there will be a strong focus on the activities uh, presently in Sweden, which is the development of our new vehicles as well as the manufacturing of our new vehicles. And that is, of course, good news for the Saab organization. Now Saab is a company that evokes a, a great deal of passion around the world. There's a great deal of expectation hanging on your shoulders. What actually attracts you and your fellow investors to Saab? Well, it's a very unique brand and it's got a great heritage. And uh, I actually heard the other day that uh, Sweden has the most innovations per capita in the world. And that has been seen through Saab's history. Um, well, you can see that with their products. And we want to kind of reinvigorate that and make it unique Swedish, innovative, environmentally friendly, and of course, fun to drive. Obviously, these negotiations have been between General Motors, uh, Saab's current owners, and the Koenigsegg Group, but how involved have you and your team at Saab been in the process? Well, we've been fortunate to be a part of this process already from the beginning, from the time that we developed the prospect, as well as the presentation to different potential buyers, as well as, of course, during the negotiation, the development of the business plan, and up to this date, we have, on different level, been heavily involved in all the discussions taking place. So the deal is struck, but you know, of course, that the key for any car company is product, a new product. So what new cars are we going to see from the new Saab? Well, the first one coming out is, of course, already in pipeline. It's the new 9.5, uh, which I've personally driven uh, over the summer and tested, and I think it's a, it's a great car. Uh, it's, it's very important for Saab's future. Then we have the 9.3X that's just been launched, which is also a, a, a good complement in, in the product lineup. Then we have a, a few other cars coming out in the near future, which is also, um, well, in the pipeline, so to speak. I can't get into too many details right now, but we have a lot of new products coming. Now, back in February, Saab filed for uh, legal reorganization under Swedish law. What happens to that process now? Well, the current extension of the reorganization expires on August 20th, and we have decided that we will not prolong that. Uh, we see that we have achieved everything we set out to achieve in our reorganization plan uh, related to dimensioning the organization properly, creating a better balance between supply and demand, reducing our inventory, as well as, of course, restoring our balance sheet by achieving a composition, uh, writing down our debts by 75%.
So now is the time to exit the reorganization as we have achieved all of these objectives. And there is the money on the table to make it all happen because a lot of people have been wondering about that too. Absolutely. I mean, money is, of course, an important factor. And, and we've been working together with the Swedish government, GM, and within our group to secure finance uh, for Saab. And we're well on our way. And, and uh, it was enough for us to sign the SBA. And we have the next important step in front of us during the next months to get the whole deal done. So new owners, new organization, reorganization. What does the future hold for Saab? Well, I think the future is very exciting. First of all, in the short term, we're happy to report that we have a production schedule that is full over the next seven, eight weeks. Uh, at the same time, we're now starting the launch of our new products, starting with the 93X this summer, uh, followed on with the 95. And these are, of course, excellent news for Saab going forward. We have been fortunate during the, uh, this whole process, and I know also in the future, to have a tremendous support from all the people involved in Saab, whether we talk customers, dealers, employees, and I think everybody's happy that we have taken another important step into securing the future. So uh, we have to continue to work on what it remains to close this deal, but for the time being, I'm very happy. It is a huge challenge, and, and, uh, but it's an, a rewarding challenge, and uh, we're very confident that we will make this work.